Today, I'm going to be discussing how I study the Bible, and I do it at 4.30 in the morning. <laughs> you already saw my little routine to just wake myself up in the morning. I have my candle lit because we're setting the mood for Jesus. Great is his faithfulness. His mercies begin afresh each morning. Lamentations 3 and 23. And so... The first thing I do is I get out my crayons. Yes, I use crayons <laughs> to study the Bible. I use a different color for each day just to denote, you know, where I left off. And so today I'm using like a reddish color, but I'm studying currently in Luke right now. So I'm in Luke, the second chapter. And so what I do is I usually just go through, first of all, and read. And I basically highlight what ever is really standing out to me scripture wise and I use my pen to define any words that I'm not familiar with or any phrases that I want to look up later. I also go through and look through my commentary and I'll link my bible in the description um, if I can find it on Amazon I'll link it but I go through the commentary and also do the same thing as I did with the scripture. Next, I pull out my phone because I do have a King James Version Bible and it can be confusing at times with all the thou and the thus and the begats. So I go to my Version Bible app. I like to go in and look at different versions of the Bible. The NLT version is what I look at the most today. I was looking at Luke 2 and 13 describing heavenly host and what that meant because I underlined it and wanted to research it. I also go into another app that I have and call it's called the Enduring Word um, and it's a commentary app and I'll look in there as well just to see what it says about the same scripture and I like this app because it does give commentary just like in the bottom of my Bible for each scripture and it is pretty long um, so each I have to kind of scroll through even just to get to the 13th um, verse but I like to read through the commentary um, while I'm studying the Bible um, just to get another view on the scripture and of course I consult the Holy Spirit as to what it is that the scripture means to me and I do that further in my study so I'll just write in the definition of what heavenly host means um, which is an army of angels basically. Next up, I take out my journal and I actually study a particular scripture, um, one that I highlighted and wanted to go over. Today, I was going over that same scripture, Luke 2 and 13, just to dive more into what I didn't understand. As you might know, I am a nurse, so of course I use the SOAP method. Um, it's a method we use in nursing as well. Um, but I start off by writing the scripture. So S stands for scripture. O stands for objective. And objective just means facts. What are the facts about this scripture? So I kind of highlight some facts in regards to the scripture that stands out. You know, sign, 
uh, you know, wrapped in swaddling clothes in the manger. That's the sign. The multitude of heavenly hosts. I want to define that. A stands for application. And in regards to application, this is how the scripture applies to my life. How it applies to my life. And I wrote, there are a multitude of angels that come together and praise God for peace and goodwill. You know, what if we had the mindset to do that as well? You know, that um, praising God and coming together as his army and shout his glory and praises to the heavens. Um, you know, what if we, you know, did that in our lives? The last letter is P and that, you know, stands for prayer. So I pray the scripture over my life. I pray the application over my life and what that, you know, scripture means to me and how it speaks to me. I pray the Holy Spirit to give me understanding throughout the day. Um, you know, this is a time where I just meditate on the word and meditate with Jesus and just, you know, sit and talk with the Lord. I tell you. I tell you too. Good day. Hmm? Okay. After prayer, I like to go into my YouTube and I'll go to my playlist. I have a praise playlist that I play um, just in the mornings when um, I am finished with my study just to keep me in the spiritual mode. Another reason I get up so early is so that I can work on my business, work on my blog. I am uh, launching some new blog material as far as TTC, pregnancy, parenting, motherhood. I am revamping my website. So, um, you know, I just write out my to-do list for the day and start working because I am most motivated in the morning. But I hope you enjoyed this video. I pray that you have a blessed day. I'm going to continue working and I will talk to you guys in another video. Love you. Bye.